Hi, Alex. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Weird for you to chat at the start. Seems kind of suspicious. I'll come back at the end. No! <laughs> Don't leave! Oh yeah, I gotta get to work on the new sub emotes. Because I think the increase is July 2nd. I'll have them done by the end of the month. actually works I'll be lurking okay get that bag I'm trying to think of who I used to work or who I used to watch when I was at work I think I would watch this on because I worked at Subway so it's not like I could have like headphones on but I could have earbuds in I remember I'd have to take my earbuds out whenever the lunch rush started, though. Like, hearing him chirp and then taking orders was not too hard. <laughs> Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I know, early stream. I want to try and get as much leveling as I can today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, three, two, one. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone is doing well. Today it is 9.08 a.m. I'm left like two hours early, but you know what, that's fine. We gotta get the hours in today. We had Alex and you lecture in the starting soon screen. Welcome in, guys. It's early in the morning. Do it. <laughs> Sorry. I don't live near train tracks anymore. So anytime. Dude, there's like a, there's like a military plane flying over us right now. Holy shit. It's it's common though, because like there's so many military bases in Washington, like there's one in every town it seems. Oh my god. You guys can't hear it back here, it's really freaking loud. I also have my windows open because it's hot today. It says it's 63, so it's probably gonna be like what, a hundred later? Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to address. Oh wait! Today's stream today. Today's stream is brought to you by PieceInArt.MyShopBike.com Guys, new pieces coming soon. Asterisk soon. I don't know when. We'll see. But there is a new blog post. Look at that. Look at that. So if you want to read it, bookmark my website and go to the blog tab that is at the very top of the menu. Um... My goal is to do one or two posts a week. That's my second post, because that was June 18th and then June 25th. Exactly two in a week. So, like, so 
I'm also going to be working on like making a banner image for here. I kind of want it to be similar to my uh, my piece in our banner. I really like that look. Um, so how the blog is, there's sections for like regular art posts and ramblings and progress pics. And then if you miss a live stream, they'll all be archived in a separate blog as well. But it's still in the same blog main page. So guys, bookmark the website if you want to help support me. Smile. And if you're a hate watcher, uh, just be nice. <laughs> okay. Let's we'll do a little intro. I also have my own music playing in here today because we're leveling. Okay. You know the drill, say hi, YouTube. It is day 21. 21! of the peace luck 2024 we're three months in and we are finally nearing the end i defeated all of victory road without a single pokemon loss which is crazy to think about knowing my track record so today i'm going to be focusing on leveling up my elite four team for the final fight i still don't know what pokemon the elite four members have but i feel pretty confident with the team that i've built so when we get started we'll I'll finally decide who I want my final six to be, and then we'll get to leveling. Maybe we'll beat the Elite Four. Who knows? We'll see. But probably not. I'm, I'm clickbaiting today. Okay. I'm not nervous, because, like, leveling is, like, fine. It should be fine. But it's still kind of scary. I know that we won't. Yeah, I'm clickbaiting. Hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, I'm opening the game. Live split has begun. You don't know what you're in for yet? No, I I'll be fine. Don't don't like scare me. What if I just quit right now? Okay, before we traverse, we need to figure out who I want my team to be. For sure, bringing Magikarp, Ralph, Blaziken, and Manny. I still feel pretty chill about Vileplume. Okay, the only spoiler that I did see, because I did watch some little Pokemon videos. I've been watching a lot of Alpha Rad. A lot of his older videos. You need a you need a leaf stone to evolve Gloom. So I don't know if I have that. That could be a problem. And I might bring Duskox, because like a dark, a ghost Pokemon is kinda cool. I'm still not sure. I don't know about Dusclops. Okay, I need to decide who I want my final six to be. That way we can, like, properly level up. Because I think I do have a handful of rare candies. Let's see what I have. HP up, I have two. Three proteins, a moonstone. PP up. I have ten rare candies. A Thunderstone, a Firestone. Sunstone. A King's Rock is huge, because that does give flinch. PP Max, Calcium, Max Revive. Okay, I don't have a leaf stone. Gamers, am I able to buy a leaf stone? I, I need to know that right now. No? Oh no. So that means gloom is gonna be gloom forever then. Um. Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of fine with that. I'll just have to, like, make sure gloom has significant HP. Because looking at gloom now... They're level 39, and they have 112 HP. That's more HP than Dusty has. So I bet once I get Gloom to the proper level, they will have significant HP. Gloom can use two stones? Wait, what? Huh? You guys need to research. Okay, so the Elite Four... 
they're levels 46 to 58. So I want to get my Pokemon to like at least 55 or 56. Wait, can wait, maybe a is there a sunstone? Do I wait, do I have a wait, 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 wait. wait. Moonstone. Thunderstone. Firestone. Wait, I do have a sunstone! Wait! Maybe this- Well, you know, because, like, plants grow in the sun, right? You know what? Fuck it, we've all- Let's try a sunstone. Maybe it'll work. Wait, where is it? Wait, where is it? Wait, I lost it. <laughs> Wait, I, I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> Why is it up there? Sunstone. Use. Wait. It's the only Pokemon that says, or that doesn't say no use. Okay. If we get Vibloom, that'd be sick. Oh my god! Ooh, it's evolving! What the hell? Wait! No. Your ooh evolved into Blossom. Wait, is it Sunstone equals Blossom and Leafstone equals Vileplume? Oh no. Oh no! Okay, or Blossom. Type grass, raises speed and sunshine. Lonely nature. Me too, man. Still the same move set. Okay, well. <laughs> Everybody Vile Bloom is good. Is Blossom good? Okay, but they, they still have like the same move, so like it, it's whatever. Ugh. I I do have another gloom, I believe. But honestly, I, I know you're saying there's a way for me to get a leaf stone, Ethan, but like that's too much work. Or I might have an Oddish. No, I guess I don't. What? I swear I caught another glue. Oh, there it is. You're right. I do have an Oddish. We could evolve up this Oddish, but... Ah, uh, you know what? I'll commit. I'll... I'll it's a Blossom. Blossom is cute. And also, like, look at Blossom. Look at her hip swing. Ain't no way. Thank you for the gift of sub, Alex. Wait, no. No. An oopsie sub? Oops. Oopsie. Okay, that means we got... Huh. Hopefully it's nobody good. 
Let's see what my most recent Pokemon was. Is this still a Nuzlocke? What if your whole team gets wiped? Then I'm never playing Pokemon again. I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, my most recent cup Pokemon was a Laron. Which, I already have a Laron. It was Larry. Now, before anybody gets mad, it's not Aaron. Aaron I caught when they were the, a little baby. So, we're releasing Larry. The Laron. Once again, thank you, Alex, for the gifted sub. And everybody, peace I 27 Larry. I never battle with you at all. But, you know, it was still a fun catch. Larry was released. Bye-bye, Larry! God damn it. Minus one, everybody. Oh, wait! Oh my god, I'm so stupid! Wait, I forgot it was seven subs to release a Pokemon. You guys got that one for free! Oh my god, I'm so dumb! Well, you guys got the seven Pokemon for free, so so that means. Eight <laughs> okay. subs for the next Pokemon. Fuck you! Oh my god, I cannot believe myself. Man, I really let Larry go for ten dollars instead of thirty-five. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for another gift, to Alex. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me this time. Holy moly. Okay, so that's one sub on the board for the next Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Thank you for another gifted, Alex. I really appreciate it. And you gifted 17 subs to the channel. That's my favorite number. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Dude, top peace and fails of 2024 compilation. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's get out of the box. I'm, I'm not- I'm not letting anybody else go. Dude, imagine if it was one sub per Pokemon. That would be insane. That would, I, I ain't doing that shit. Oh my god, okay. What was I doing? Oh yeah, so I need to decide who I want on the team, like, for real, for real, on god, on god. <laughs> so, you know what? F fuck it, I'll bring Blossom. Why not? Because I do like how we have the sleep powder and poison powder that could be huge for me. I'm trying to think of somebody I can bring in place of the ghost Pokemon. I'm kind of digging Graveler. Let's see what type of moves they have. Ground and Rock could be nice. Because Ground is effective against Water. Rock is effective against flying. Oh yeah, I don't necessarily have anybody who's good against flying. Wait, besides electric. They have rock throw, magnitude, rollout, and so- Guys, we ain't using self-destruct, I'm sorry. Wait, but that would be really funny. If we use Graveler on like the last battle, like for funsies, and then we just blow up. That, that could be pretty iconic. You know what? I I'm kind of down to bring Graveler. Because- Dark is very similar to Ghost, so I don't think I need the Ghost type. I'm kind of down for that. Yeah, I, I think I like this. We got Magikarp, Water. They have Dragon, Dark, and Water type moves. Gardevoir, which is full psychic build. Blaziken, fire fighting. Manectric, electric. And I think... Yeah, they have normal dark and electric type moves. Graveler has ground and rock. And then Blossom we'll use if we need like a status type. Buy a thousand potions? Oh yeah, for sure. So I think what I'm going to focus on for now is leveling up my Pokemon. I'm going to save my berries for my higher level pokemon because obviously the higher level ones are going to need more xp to level so we're going to get blossom and graveler to like maybe 50 and then i'll start using my rare candies because i only have 10 
And honestly, I'd rather save it for like Blaziken or Manectric or something, because they're already high enough level. And then we'll go to the mall, and then we're gonna go and buy potions, any PP ups, HP ups we can with any leftover money we have. And I, I still need to decide who I want to give it to, because let's actually look at my whole party together. Right now, Magikarp has 182 HP. They're probably going to be the tankiest. So I kind of want to get my other Pokemon with, like, to the same HP level that Magikarp is. Just so, like, I don't be scared to throw anybody into battle. So. Oh, wait. Because I know... I don't know anything about the stats menu. You guys don't have to tell me, but I don't know anything. So... I probably just need to see what type of moves each individual Pokemon has, and then I can buy special attack ups, no normal attack up, and go from there. Yeah, I think I want to prioritize getting like defense ups, and then special, or maybe speed up as well, because some of these guys are really slow. Yeah, Graveler is really slow. Raise special attack for non-physical and attack for physical. Okay. Thank you, Electra. Also, can we get some yo's? Hello. I'll write that down. I actually need to write that down. <laughs> I mean, that, that literally makes so much sense, but knowing me, I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, so... Special attack is for... Non-physical. So, okay. So, since we know that fact, is it fine if I look up if attacks are, like, physical or non-physical? Like, I think I can figure it out, but, like, is it fine if I look it up later? Okay, I wrote that down. I think it's fair if I look that up, you know? I We, re we really don't want to reset. I, I don't think you guys want that. You know, I don't want to cry on the stream. It should say when you look at the move details, really? No, it doesn't. Okay, so since it doesn't say in this gen, but it says in other gens, then I think it's totally fair for me to look it up, right? I, I think that's totally fair. Okay, the plan is simple. I have my Elite Four team here. Magikarp, Ralph, Blaziken, Manny, Gavin, and ooh! So we're gonna get Gavin and ooh to like level 50, and then we'll go to the mall and buy all types of drugs for them. It's kind of obvious though, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I just need to be sure, you know? Okay, wait, who do we want to level first? To level, we can probably use Magikarp and Ralph as usual. We gotta give Magikarp a berry. Can't put on my music on. Guys, AMA, ask me anything. We're gonna be leveling all day. I think everybody has a citrus berry. Yeah, everybody has a citrus berry. <laughs> I'm still gonna give them citrus berries just to like be extra, extra, extra safe. What's my saddest Pokemon release? Oh, it had to be bra. Like, I had no idea still. That, um, Slacking had a Dark-type move. Like, I, I re-watched that clip the other day. And it's still, like, so sad. I, I was clueless, I didn't know. Try the Elite Four without leveling, you're ready? Shut the fuck up! Mod, seriously, ban Ethan. I'm not even kidding.
Oh wait, I don't... Hmm. I should get my Lai Noon so we can pick up more items. Dude, imagine if I go in right now. Uh, you, I don't think you guys want that. Okay, we're gonna get Lai Noon from the box and pick up items. There's like, nothing good happens if I lose and reset. It's not like you guys get subs or whatever. I just cry. There's no benefit. Like, if you want me to go in right now, you're admitting that you're like, a sadist. Wanting to watch me lose. Of course you do think of the clips. Dude, my mental health is not worth a single clip. That might get like, 200 views on YouTube. It's not worth it. I don't have the smoke yet. Or the clout. But that's how you get clout? Girl. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> it's called clip farming? I already do that, though. Like, I don't want to be known as the girl who, like, failed a Nuzlocke after 119 hours. <laughs> I don't want that smoke. Okay, I feel good. Right now, Gavin has XP share. I want to check something. I want to see how many anti-confusion berries I got. Wait, which one is it? Parasim. I got 20. I could hold a Parasim, but uh, I should save it. You, you, who knows? You might need 20 of those in the Elite Four. Because I don't know if every Elite Four member will have six Pokemon. I know there's four Elite Four and then the Champion, of course. Okay, we're in. Officially leveling for the Elite Four now. Should I get my bike? Just so we can go, like, a little bit faster? Is that a chainsaw? So, how you guys been doing, huh? Hariyama! Also, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button you get cooling- Oh, my camera's gone. Wait, knockoff is super effective? No, my citrus berry! Wait, my camera's gone, hold. <clears throat> Wait, what is knockoff? Maybe this is a dark move? Okay, I'm fixing my camera. I'm back. Die. <laughs> yup. I hope I get my citrus berry bag. Oh yeah, I got it back. Yay! Get back to work. I don't- I don't know why I'm nervous. I should not be nervous. Another Hariyama. Dude, my fingers are shaking. You can't see it, but I can feel them shaking. It's doing nerviosa. What? What the hell? Oh, we also can look at like which TMs and HMs I have still. Oh, is this just like a Hariyama farm?
Knock off must be a dark move. Which is interesting, because Hariyama would be strong against dark. Mm. No sé. Surely I won't get another Hariyama. Okay, is it really only Hariyama here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's only Hari Amas here. Which would be funny. I bet the moment I switch to Ralph as my party leader, there's no more Hariyamas. Wait, I don't got more potions. Um, I'm gonna go heal, because I'm scared. And we're right by the center, so it's fine. It's so rude how they put the door right straight ahead. Like, if you're not thinking, you would just walk in, you know? Okay, Ralph is now the party leader. Surely, we'll only run into Hariyamos. annoying. Maybe it's because I left the cave. They told all their friends, don't come back here. They have a Ralph. Oh, this is so annoying now. Now, I don't know what steel is, like, super strong or weak against. I know that they're very weak against water. I wonder how they fare up against psychic. Dark doesn't affect them at all. Maybe they're immune to, like, special attacks. I do have a citrus berry. Special moves is fire, water, electric, psychic, dark, ice. Wait, I'm screenshotting that. <laughs> I'm screenshotting Oh, so it's like the actual Pokemon type determines the special or normal. Thank you, Electro. Hmm. Okay, so Steel is physical. Psychic is special. Dark is special. Oh, wait, Water is special. So Laren is not just like weak to special or physical. It's just water. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it, we ball. You are such a jerk. I just want to see if you're weak against Psychic. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, it's not effective, but it still worked in. Okay, so dark and psychic do not work against steel. Noted. Now I know. Ralph is just so strong, though. Okay, I need to switch to Magikarp. This is annoying. <laughs> Oh, 
Or maybe I can switch to Blaziken? Because the only bad Pokemon would be if we run into a Mariyama or Hariyama. Oh, but... Oh no, Zubat and Crobat are flying. It's probably best to level with Magikarp. There we go. Get back to work. I swear, the moment I switch, they must know. Dark won't work against fighting Dragon Dance. We can see how Dragon does against fighting. Yeah, Magikarp is tanky. Oh, wait, no, Dragon Dance is not an offensive move. I forgot. <laughs> Dude, I'm so clueless. I keep, I keep on forgetting... For some reason, I think Dragon Dance is a different offensive move. Okay. Twister, let's see. Okay, Dragon is not- is neutral against fighting. I'm learning. I wish the type advantages were as simple as fire and water, you know? Like, that makes sense. Hariyama! I bet I can take it out with Surf. Because Magikarp is dragon water. Okay, since I can't one-hit KO Pokemon, this is gonna take a while. Larry. I think I want to raise my PP for serve. Since it's my only water type move. Gavin grew to level 32. Let's go. Man, if only we had Saw still. Loudred is normal, so fighting will be effective against it. Dark might also be effective. Let's try Bite. Attack Rose. Okay, Dark was neutral. We can try... Surely Dragon would not be weak to normal, right? A critical hit. It was neutral. I guess the only true advantage over normal would be fighting, for sure. I'm just like, let me get a hit in. Like, come on. I have played other Pokemon games. I played Let's Go Eevee to completion. I played part of Pokemon. 
shield, and then part, or no, sorry, part of Pokemon Sword, and then part of Pokemon Violet. Those later two got boring. I think because visually they looked very similar and played very similarly. But I remember that Elite Four and Let's Go Eevee was so easy. I think it's also because in the newer games, it literally tells you if the move is effective or not, like, in the battle. I kind of want to just drown him. Like, the new games really are baby games. But the funny is, I didn't really retain anything after playing the newer Pokemon games. That's why, like, I still don't know my types as much. Linus has an item. And Sedio just like, let me fight! So annoying. Those whirlwind or the howling item where it just like scares you away. Why did I say items move? My guess is we'll beat Peace Lock by 125 hours. Oh, Aaron's so cute. I really wanted to level up my Aaron. But I'm not sure, like, what steel would be good to counteract. Maybe if they have, like, a dark type team? But then I have Blaziken, so. They really need to bring Team XP back. Okay, nothing in particular for my moves is good against Go Back, so I'm just gonna serve. Monk up. Okay, go is worth worth good XP. We're gonna go heal. I didn't say this, but I was hanging out with my friends this weekend, and we watched the first two episodes of The Boys together. Um, it's an adult show. It's a very adult show. And I remember when it came out, I, w I couldn't get past the first episode, because the one scene with um, Waterboy, or uh, Deep, I, I I could not get past it. Like I remember watching it, I was like, I can't do this shit. <laughs> um... I watched them with my dad. That's gonna be so awkward. <laughs> There's so many, like, smashing scenes. 
The show is so good. Yeah, so I watched the two episodes with my friend. And then... Um... And then that night, in the span of 12 hours, I watched the rest of the season. It was so bad. Like, the moment my friend left, I watched the other six episodes straight. The Deep is so relatable. I was talking about this with my sister, and we hate how, like, this show made Deep seem relatable. It seemed very, like, R.A.P.E. apologist. Like, we hated it. Like, I don't know- I'm on episode two of the second season, so no other spoilers. Um... I just don't... I was kidding. Okay, okay, I was like, uh, mud. It's like so... I hate, because like that's how like people see like, um, like actual abusers. It's, it's so, it's, it's so real, but it's so shitty. Because there, there were, um, parts in like the later episodes where like, oh wait, Deep is kind of funny. But I was like, no, I hate him! <laughs> you know, I think it's because I thought The Boys was going to be like a superhero show, but it's more like politicky. It's more drama, more social commentary than I thought it was gonna be. It's obviously parody. So, I, I really like it. I mean, I got three more seasons to go. Uh oh, Monka. Maximized attack. Uh oh. Thank God you didn't get faster. But I try to only watch shows, like on days where I don't work or I don't stream. Gavin Girl to level thirty three. Let's go. Because I I'm so bad about bitching shows. I think it's because whenever I see a show, I see it like a movie. So like, if I like take a week break, I'm gonna forget what happens. No, good be used. I was waiting for that to happen. I was thinking about this this weekend. Because, like, whenever I hang with my friends, I, like, I don't work. So that can mean stream, that can mean, like, editing. But because of that, I have to work more throughout my week. Because my work schedule, even though I don't work, um, I do six fives. So that way it's 30 hours a week. So that can mean... He bit me! Um, so that can mean, like, because in an average week, I stream about 10 to 15 hours. So then whatever other hours that I don't stream, I commit to editing. So since I hung on my friend on Saturday, I had to do five sixes, and dude, it sucked. I have no idea how I do, or how I did a full-time job, and then two part-times. Like, that was crazy. How did I not, like break even though <laughs> my work did break me in the end but i don't know I it should be illegal to have a 40 hour work week that's why like if you can try to get a remote job like there's no shame in it like yeah you'll miss out on the camaraderie of your like a traditional workplace but you're gonna spend a lot less time like commuting because I think the average commuter takes like 40 minutes to and from work so that's an extra hour and a half almost of like getting to work I know there's a bunch of conspiracies and people were like oh capitalism is trying to control you by like making you work all day which yeah kind of true but that's not like the main reason why I don't think it's just meant for exploitation. And people are forced to work full-time. Because the cost of living is just going up and up and up. 
That's why, like, I was thinking. If I could ever afford, like, employees, I would only employ people if I could pay them appropriately. Like, I would never want to hire somebody for minimum wage. Like, that in itself is pitiful. And I wouldn't want anybody to feel like they're underpaid. Because when I was at Subway, and when I was considering leaving, because I gave my employer a one-month notice, because I was being nice. Because I was a regional manager, so I managed um, two locations. So, like, it would have been harder to find a replacement. So I gave my... my... Um, my owner like a month notice at the time minimum wage was like $14 I think I think and I was making like 15 so like barely a dollar over minimum and I learned that the person they were gonna give my position to was somebody who had never done management ever and they were offering 19. And I remember when I heard this, because, like, one of my coworkers told me, they're like, hey, this is what I heard. I'm like, what? Like, I lost all respect for my owner when I heard that, because it's like, they, she knew that she could keep exploiting me for all the extra work that I do, all the labor, all, like, the, the effort I put into my job, and give me, like, shit wages. And that's when, like, I opened my eyes. And that's when I became a socialist. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did you respect them to begin with? I mean, I was naive. I was like fucking 22. Because I worked for this individual from when I was 19 to 22. So three years. And I was I was naive. I didn't know any better. I, I think I mean respect in the sense of like, respect you have for any person who's like higher than you. But when I when I say I lost respect, it made me see how like they didn't see me as somebody of like human value. That's when I realized like, oh, they just see me as a body. My heart, you know. That's why, like, if you're working a job and you feel like you need to be paid more, if you talk around and see that everybody's getting paid differently, ask for a raise. Who gives a shit? The worst they can say is no. And legally, you're legally protected that if they fire you for asking for a raise, you can, like, sue them or contact LNI and get reparations. Like, you're protected. So don't be scared. And a lot of employers will see it as good if you ask for a raise, because it shows that, like, uh, that you want to stay with the company, and also that you're willing to take initiative. Oh, yes, who's ever heard of companies breaking the law? Isn't it really fucked up how there's more laws and protections in place for companies than people? Think about it. That's what any time there's... Moko. <laughs> Wait, isn't Fake Out a... Wait, no, 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 pause. Isn't Fake Out a... A dark type move? Anyway. Anytime there's like an ordinance for like more tenant rights on my local ballot, I always vote for it. I'm like, fuck the landlords. Anytime there's more taxes for property, I'm like, screw the homeowners. <laughs> screw the people of wealth. I hate my landlord in Minecraft. What if they're watching? I obviously think there's a difference between a, a, a landlord who has like three houses that they rent out versus like an apartment owner. Like, 
If you own an apartment, you're a shitty person. I'm sorry. I also think it's really funny when you hear, like, the... How do you say? Gavin Grid to level 34, let's go! When you hear the influence of, like, or the influencers be like, you know, I work so hard for my money and my wealth, and you find out that, like, they're a landlord. <laughs> yeah, you sit on your ass and just watch people give you money. Like, yeah! Maintaining a property can be hard, but, like, you just have other people do that shit for you. Like, I do dream of, like, owning my own house at some point. But I don't know how I'd feel about, like, owning multiple and renting them out. Like, I, I still believe that property should not be commoditized. Like, you should not be able to profit off of, like, a human right. Yep. Like, I remember when everybody was grilling Bernie Sanders for having, like, three homes, but it's like, bitch, two of his homes are vacation homes, so it's not like he's making money off of them. Like, yeah, if he passes on, or if he chooses to, like, give the properties to family members, they'll have wealth, but it's not like you're profiting off of it. Huge difference. I'm gonna, go book. I'm gonna go to the book center and heal. And you know what else I gotta do? Run an ad. Because, guys, we're an hour into stream. Hour into leveling. We're getting there. So, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your part to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available.
Yeah, fake out on the works of the first turn, you silly. Classic. Linus has an item. know what time it is. <laughs> That's crazy how much more damage the crit did. Normally it does 10, but it did 50! Increases like my accuracy for attacks because that be could be good for something from Blossom to carry. Magnacarp is close to leveling. Probably two more Pokemon. Oh, I lied. Magnacarp grew to level 53. Let's go. Two more. Till we're ready for the Elite Four of Magnacarp.
Surf might take it up. Yep. Because I only want to switch to Ralph if we get a Makuhita. In serio? Gavin grew to level 35. Okay, this is going quicker. PP in my bag, but I don't. I kind of want to give that to Magikarp and just do it now because I know I will later. I also have to go heal anyway. Okay, PP Max. Magikarp for Surf. Let's actually see how much it increased it by. To 24, nice, so up 9. Okay, I like that. Confuser is so annoying! Can I? I want something that makes me immune to confusion. There's probably something. If these Pokemon don't want to fight, they should just hide. Or run away immediately. Like Abra does.
You know just how to push my buttons, don't you? At least it lets me run away. Finally, something that I'm strong against. I just realized- I don't think I caught all the Pokemon in the jungle zone. I don't think I want to go back, but... I didn't realize. Imagine there's a vile plume in there. You would think the fighting Pokemon would want to fight. But apparently, they don't.
Thank you for the follow. Plus one! Thank you. Can we get some yo's? Gavin's at 35. Yeah, 35. We're getting there. Setting will protect. Gavin grew to level 36! We're getting there. Already up three levels. After 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I know there's glitches to where you can get like infinite rare candies, but we're not cheating. I'm playing on my GBA. I can't hack it. Everybody who's done a Nuzlocke on stream has done the candy hack. You know, I'm just different than the rest. If you fight trainers again, you get XP. Oh, but in order to rebattle them, you have to travel to where they are, I believe. That's not really worth it. I'll just stay where I am.
I was just thinking about how earlier you guys got Laren for free. Or not for free, but like a huge discount. But I was checking my sub-release Pokemon. And we're at 14. I think you guys have made me kill Pokemon more than I've, like, accidentally killed. Which was the goal. We'll look at the stats at the very end, though. I need to reprint my nails. My, my pride is already falling off. It's getting ratioed. A hundred and twenty hours. I don't know about one twenty five, it's probably gonna be like a one thirty. Looking at how long it's taken level. We'll see though. But also keep in mind, this run only started at the twenty five hour mark. Or this Attempt, rather. To think I thought that I could be peace luck in a month. Which, if you think about it, 120 hours, if this were a 40 hour work week, like if I did this for 8 hours, 5 days a week, it would be a month. But I, I think you guys would hate it if I did this every day for 8 hours. Type 1. If you'd watch that, type 2 if you wouldn't. I wouldn't. Because I, I consider doing that. Because I think near the very start of the peace lock, we did like seven, eight hour streams. But th that's just too much in one sitting. I think I would only do like seven, eight hour streams if I didn't have to edit. Because you know with that grind, you gotta have edits out all the time. Linus has an item. Guys, we're another 30 minutes in. If you don't want to miss a single second, follow right now. We've already gotten one. Can we get another?
For every single follower I get today, I'll say thank you. Gavin grew to level 37. Gavin is trying to learn Rock Blast? What's that? Rock Blast hurls boulders at the foe two to five times in a row. Okay, that doesn't seem as cool as I thought it was going to be. Honestly, that's better than roll-up. I kind of want to keep self-destruct for the meme. Like, if we if we end the fight with self-destruct, I think that would be so poetic. Yeah, I don't like roll-out at all. Only 80% accuracy, though? That's kind of lame. I'll swap it out for roll-out. Gavin forgot roll and learned rock blast. Hell yeah. It knows it'll lose, that's why it keeps protecting. I know you saw your brothers and sisters fall, and you should join them.
Linus has an item. I think I'll do like one more battle and then I'll go heal. Because Magikarp is down 30 HP, I believe. Thank God you missed. I think the only Pokemon I have that can cause confusion is Ralph. But I still think Magikarp, my Gyarados, is my best opener. Because doing the Intimidate from the start is really helpful. Because it just occurred to me that if Magikarp didn't open against that one Hariyama that had a critical fake out, Ralph could have died there. I don't know how much the Intimidate cuts attack, but I assume it's by 50%. Okay, I want to try something. Just to, like, speed up fights a little bit. I think I have an item that increases the power of water-type moves. Okay, a hold item that slightly boosts water type moves. That raises the power of water type moves. So I assume this is stronger. Okay, so we'll just have Gyarados hold this. That way maybe Surfs could start one hit KOing certain Pokemon, like the Golbats or Crobats. Or Golbats, not Crobats. Because just looking at the fights we've had so far with leveling, we did not need a Citrus Bear for Magikarp. And I want this to go as fast as it can. Okay, let's see how much stronger that held item is making Magikarp now. Because usually on a level 40 gold bet, it'll do like 50 to 60% damage. Let's see. That did about 75%, so raised by about 10. That's fine. I'll take it. 
Magic are good at level 54. One more level, then they're ready for the Elite Four. I ideally would like to get all my Pokemon to 58. But realistically, that'll take too long. <laughs> Longer than I'm already committed to taking. Because I can probably level for like 5 to 7 hours depending on how I feel today. Ideally, I want to get everybody to level today. And Sadio? That way, next time we stream Peace Lock, it will be the Elite Four fight. Because I'm unsure how long that fight will actually take. Boy, I'm confused. I'm gonna run. Gavin grew to level 38. Getting there. Linus has an item.
Okay, we're gonna go heal, smile. Might have been an item that increases my crit count. <laughs> I'm at a meeting lurking on meat. Crisp walk when you were gonna do the elite floor, I can see. Yeah, sure. I challenge everybody. To ride the treadmill until I get to the lead floor. That's what I- <laughs> I've been watching a few like Elden Ring streams, primarily like Ludwig and Jerma. And what I- sometimes what I did the past few days is I'll hop on my treadmill and I'll- I'll cycle until they beat a boss. I cycled for like an hour one day. <laughs> And I was like, wait, I should not do this. This is too much. Okay, I don't have a crit item in my inventory. Let's check my box. my crit ratio. I guess not. I think it's just the held battle item. That's kind of lame. Oh well. I just want to use something that'll make these leveling go faster. good idea to carry X attacks into those battles too. going to move the surf location for their move set just so it's like one less click I've been listening to Korean soft pop all morning by Ha Yeo Song I'm gonna mix it up Gotta go at top. I'm still listening to like Clancy all the time. I love it so much. It's got so many good beep boops. PP Max for Psychic as well. I 
I think I'll wait to look at which TMs and HMs I have until I get everybody fully leveled. Because, like, I don't want to give them a TM and then they somehow learn it later. Like, that would be silly. And a waste. Oh, I... I did that accidentally. I'm so used to surfing down here, but the fight still worked. It's like muscle memory at this point. Whirlwind failed. Nice. Love that for me. Almost did it again. Moving surf is kind of cooking me a little bit. <laughs> oh, he bit me. I think during the ad break, in six minutes, heads up. I'm gonna look up rare candy information again because from what i read sometimes lanterns can pick them up which i think is how i got the majority of the ones that i have now you can't buy them i don't think Gavin grew to level 30? Let's go. Do you think Sal could have been here? Oh, I did bite. I was wondering why I didn't take it out as a crit.
Linus has an item. I might go heal as well right now, actually. Come on, Linus. Get me some more rare candies, my guy. That sucks. You know what else sucks? Watching ads, because guys, we are two hours in the stream. It's gonna be a long one today. So if you want to avoid the ads and not miss a, sing not miss a single second, subscribe right now. For $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if you got a Prime sub available. Do it now. Where's the Pokemon? Um, they're taking an ad break. Smile. Okay, I'm gonna look up information about rare candies again, just to be clear. Man, I'm learning that verse. What is over my head? Okay. Pokemon Emerald. Rare candy. Take anything you have. If you could throw me a line, I should have loved you better. Do you think that now's the time you should let go? It's over my head. Okay, I literally looked it up and it's just the cheat codes. I don't want that. If you could throw me a line, I should have loved you better. Do you think that now's the time you should let go? It's over my head. It's over my head. I don't wanna It's so annoying. Okay, so if your pickup Pokemon is level 41 or above, there's a 10% chance 
of a rare candy. Berry Master's Wife. In Route 123, you can find the Berry Master's house. Talking to the Berry Master's Wife daily and entering specific phrases can sometimes give you a rare candy. Wait! Battle Frontier! You can earn battle points in the Battle Frontier by participating in battles. You can exchange these battle points for rare candies. Wait, what? Wait, that's what I thought I could do? Just to, like, practice? Okay. Battle Frontier. Pokemon Emerald. As our shine says. Did you forget? Yeah. No. Did you forget what's out on the song? Yeah, I'm reading up at the Battle Frontier. Okay, can you get XP from the Battle Frontier? Do you get XP from Battle Frontier? Do not get XP. <laughs> okay, let's see. Battle Frontier. Rare candy. Okay, so... From what I'm skimming... Is... It takes forever to... Because when you win Battle Frontier Battles, you get points, and then you use the points to buy items. But... It doesn't... I can't find the exact cost of rare candy, but it would take forever. So... It's probably still just best to level normally! Not gonna matter if you release your team though. That's not gonna happen! Get back to work. Enough stalling. The next one. I'm just in the minute, so what am I gonna do? Get back to work. <laughs> so beautiful, the space between a painful reminder and a terrible dream. We've been here before. That's the only words I know. Oh, surf. Okay, when I first listened to Clancy, I think Routines of the Night was like the first song where I was like, ooh, this sounds nice. Obviously classic. Um, oh, this fuck, it's not vignette. Oldie Station hit home. Literally the first ten times I listened to that song, I would cry every time. The fear of feeling dumb? Is it a good one? Is it Bob? You do get XP from the Elite Four? I'm not going! 
Guys, 10 gifted right now, and I'll go to the fucking Elite Four. Anybody want to do it? Wait, I, I'm kidding. I, no, I'm kidding. I'm, <laughs> no, it's not worth it. I'm kidding. Clippers, don't. I know Alex is lurking, that's why I revoked that statement. Huh, take the L. I, I bet I could go right now, but I'm scared. I see, see I, I know you're here, Alex. I know you're here. That guy said that. Do you imagine guys watching? No, he's playing Elden Ring. Why would he watch? No. What would make me go right now? A million dollars. No, I've spent... I've spent 95 hours on this one. How much is my labor worth? That's way too much. No, it's not. I'll protect. Ask Subway. Imagine if I got offered a Subway sponsorship. That would be really funny. I've talked so much shit. Nah, uh, if I if I ever got to work with Subway, I would want to work on the line again. Cause working on the line is actually fun. Work on the line? Wait, did I say that? I didn't. The sooner you go for the Elite Four, you can stop playing. It's not that I want to stop playing. I want this run to be, like, over. But, like, in a good way. Because I have two members on my team that aren't high enough level. So, like, if I somehow lose my first four, it's Jover. And, like, I'm already doing an easier Nuzlocke rule set. Like, if I don't commit to the- if you party dies, you reset, then it's not a real Nuzlocke. Spoiler by the vineyards. And you know what? I don't give in to peer pressure. That's what my parents taught me. If you lose to the elite before you start a new run, technically, yeah. But I'll be honest, I'm just never fucking playing Pokemon again. No, I. <laughs> if I do lose to the elite before, I'm never playing this game on stream, at least, ever again. Where do I go from here? Oh, cling it to him. Why did I see you drunk at a party last week? I've never gotten lit. I've thought about it, and nah, dude. Wait, I, I don't know if I can even have alcohol. I'm on medicine now. I think it should be fine, but... I gotta be on it for at least another two weeks. And guys, don't worry, it's nothing crazy, it's just blood thinners. It's like ibuprofen on crack. It's- okay. <laughs> I'm deleting that. I'm deleting that. I'm deleting that. <laughs> don't combine medications with drinks, guys. But I'm not a doctor? Yeah, don't listen to chat. I actually haven't done that. Good job.
Yeah, what's good about my, my medicine is that there's not many restrictions. I can eat, drink most anything I want besides alcohol. In serio? No, my defense fell! No! Oh, the craving. That's what this song is called. I'm learning the final verse for craving. It's been a long time since Chad has redeemed a piece and sings a song. It's been like a month. I've been practicing a lot of songs. Let it out to the end of the days. Do we get to choose the song? No, I'm not doing one. Nuh-uh. I would love to do like a karaoke stream, but it would ruin it for the Bob Watchers. I've never watched a VOD of any channel, really. I only watch VODs of streamers that I like, genuinely really like. I usually will watch most of Ludwig's VODs or Squeaks' VODs. I used to watch every single Hassan VOD, but he just streams too many hours. I do really appreciate the creators who have, like, consistent YouTube uploads, though. That's what I'm trying to do at some point. Because I understand the main appeal for, like, a live stream is getting to hang out, dive in chat, you know, vibe. But I love YouTube highlights because it's, it's like the meat and potatoes. No filler, just the main thing for the broadcast. And I love that as a consumer. Gavin go to level 40! Finally! He's middle-aged. I gotta go heal soon. I'm gonna go heal. Did you finish Freakachu? <laughs> Wait, what? Are you talking about the game from yesterday? <laughs> Yeah, I did a full playthrough. I actually... Oh, I didn't say this at the top of the stream. I got the three other alternate endings for the love interest that I didn't pursue correctly. And let me just say... 
the final art for the turtle guy and the bird guy were smoking. I was like, oh my god. I'm not- I, I screenshotted them, but I will never show you guys. Because I want you guys to, like, play the game for yourself. When we were playing the Kaichu game yesterday, I was debating if I, like, in my head, if I wanted to do all the endings on camera. I was like, I think there's a little bit of charm to playing the game how you're like you're supposed to. And I understand that like I don't know how developers feel about like full playthroughs or walkthroughs that are uploaded like cuz then you're just like spoiling the whole game. Like if somebody watches a full playthrough, they're probably not going to play it themselves. Like previously if I played a game where I didn't get all the endings, we would watch the endings together on stream. I was, like, I decided I don't want to do that no more. Like, let the people at home make too. Hold in my door, I'm navigating, I'm navigating my head. Personally, navigating is not my favorite song of the record, but it's really catchy. <laughs> So I am wasting all this time, my oh my. What record? Uh, Clancy by 21 Pilots, the most recent album. It's very much giving trench, but more polish. Haven't heard? L. Trench was yellow? Yes, sir. Trench was my first album I listened to them. Wait, that was my first album that I listened of their music. And I think that's why I like it the most. Vessel is still... Uh, I don't know. Could be recency bias. People be like, I'm Synesthesia, and then the color of the songs is just the color of the album. Stop! <laughs> okay, I didn't say it in chatter, dude. I don't think I've ever experienced Synesthesia. The only time I see colors is when I rub my eyes too hard. Or like if my eyes jitter. Which is becoming more and more often. Or like if I stare at the sun for too long. Just kidding, I don't do that anymore. Give me some advice, I am... I get that. Guys, should I take singing lessons? I was going to before the pandemic, but then I didn't because it's too expensive. And also, like, singing during pandemic is sus because no mask. Give me some advice, I all this time, my oh my. Okay, that was fine. I sing from my nose, which is bad apparently. Monka! Belly drum! Die. Ralph might level up here. It's a backslide.
Uh oh, my camera's out. <laughs> <laughs> my camera's out. What? Keep on happening? Stupid OBS. So then I gotta snap back. It's loading. Ooh. Save. In a minute, but I kicked it. How do you mock? I should, like, learn Japanese, that way I can go live abroad and just be a translator. Wouldn't that be so cool? I was telling my sister she should do that shit. It's funny, because she's been- Belly drum monka! She's been to Hawaii- or, sorry, not Hawaii. <laughs> she's been to Japan a few times. And it's really funny. Because a lot of the locals will ask, like, what prefecture she's from. Because she looks more Asian than me. I'm telling her she should do it. Or, like, try to become, like, an interpreter at the airport or something. Japanese is easier than the French, at least? Really? Ooh! Rob is trying to learn hypnosis? What is this? I didn't think we'd get a new move. A hypnotizing move that may induce sleep. Only 60% accuracy, though? that I wanted a Pokemon that did have a sleep move, but 60% accuracy is not good. And it says may induce sleep. It's not guaranteed. Uh, calm mind. I Okay, I still want to keep teleporting because I, I need teleport when we go to the mall. Calm mind. Where's the special attack and special defense? I might need that for later battles, but honestly, I probably wouldn't use it. It. I, I think I would take it if it was like a 90 or 80% accuracy, but only 60. I don't want it. I don't want it. With my playstyle, I haven't relied on sleep strat, and I don't think I'll need to. I'm gonna stop learning it. I'm sorry, Ralph. I got really excited that you learned something new, but I don't want you to learn it. Just use yawn instead. I don't think any of my Pokemon have yawn. But yawn is guaranteed. I agree. The yawn is the better attack to have. Maybe I have a yawn to him. <laughs> I'm going to things always change. Magikarp grew to level 55. Magikarp is now officially ready for the Elite Four. <gasps> Magikarp is trying to learn Hyper Beam? Yes! Powerful, but leaves the user immobile the next turn. 90% accuracy. Oh, so does that mean it just skips my turn? Ooh, okay. It's 150 power. 95 times 2. Okay, I'm trying to do the math. So, like, if I did 2 serfs, then I'm versus 1 hyper beam. So, if I did 2 serfs, it would be 
the equivalent of 190 power. Hyper Beam is 150. 90% accuracy. I really don't like how it makes me not take the next turn. Because I assume if I use Hyper Beam and the Pokemon dies and then the next Pokemon comes in, I still can't use that first turn or the second turn. And it's a normal type, so that means it would be neutral against most everyone. Wait! Okay, I want to look this up. If it makes me skip my next turn, can I just swap him out? I want to look that up. Because we could maybe try Hyper Beam, like, if I want to swap into, like, swap into, like, a Vile Plume or something. Or, but lost one. Can you swap Pokemon after Hyper Beam? Drop by, nothing you can do this time. I don't want anyone to me or not. See me at my lowest, you don't do drop, drop. Just keep your plans. I hope that you never have to drop. Okay, so I looked it up, and allegedly. In newer gens, if you KO a Pokemon, you do not have to wait for the recharge. But in older gens, it would just count as a turn. So it would skip your turn. You would have to swap with the next turn, which does take a move anyway. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, it, it would be better to just do like two surfs in a row. See, I, I would take the Hyper Beam if it didn't make me skip my next turn. I kind of want to keep Dragon Dance, though. Okay, truly, what is weak against Dragon? I don't fucking know. It could be a good move for one-shotting? Oh, for sure. And then potion when you can't attack? What, what, it doesn't- it's not clear, like, what immobile means. Like, does it mean, like, kind of like, a uh, rollout where I can't do anything in between turns? Or, like, can I still, like, heal and shit? Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna verify. Can you heal? When wait for... Hyper Beam. Oh, it says during which no action may be performed. Let's see, I'm reading- that was the synopsis. Okay, Gen 3. If the user has Truant, the recharge and loafing around takes place in the same turn. Okay, so Hyper Beam will always need to recharge if it hits, regardless if it knocks the opponent out or not. Unless the battle is completed in that turn or the attack misses. Yeah, so, so in Gen 3, you can't do anything. Yeah, I, it's not worth it. I'm not doing it. I... It's not worth it, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I don't want it. Magikarp did not learn Hyper Beam. 
Man, I got so excited. You know who else is excited? The non-followers, because guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to tap a chip. Isn't that pretty cool? You can bash the game, and then get banned. It's 11.35. We missed 11.11. Make a late wish, everybody. Monka! Oh. <laughs> I didn't do shit. Linus is only level 26. Sad. Gavin, go to level 41.
prevents a recoil damage. Oh, okay. I assume that means attacks that, like, do damage when you tackle or something. I just wanted to see what, um, perk he had. I think after this fight, I'm gonna heal Ralph just in case. Because if we get a crit fake out, it could be bad. So annoying. We should ban whirlwind moves. We in the game today, surely. <laughs> if I get a million rare candies, sure. I go, Bobo. Can I get some yos? Hello. Thank you. 
Gavin go to level 42. Oh yeah, brother. I'm now thinking maybe Soul Rock was better than Gavin. The Soul Rock was Psychic Ground. Oh, no, no, Psychic Rock. Gavin is Ground Rock. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ground is strong against electric. Oh, hi, heart. Welcome in. Can we get some meals? Because I don't... Yeah. I was struggling. I didn't have any Pokemon that were strong against electric. Yeah, I, I think Saw is better. Not I mean Saw. I mean Gavin. Um, XP share is on my Graveler right now. Because I'm going to give my rare candies to the high level. I'm just having doubts, because, like, I could bring the Soul Rock, because I was looking for a rock Pokemon. Not necessarily a ground. But I guess bringing the Graveler is better, because I didn't necessarily have anybody who was strong against Electric besides Manectric. And my Manectric does not have Volt Absorb. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, the Graveler's probably the best bet. I've already spent, what, three hours leveling it? I can't go back now, huh? You can change abilities in the new gens, maybe this one too? Wait, what? That'd be too OP. And you know what? This might be controversial. I like just like leaving my Pokemon as they are. I embrace them for who they are fully. In the other Pokemon games that I've played, I never used TMs or HMs. Unless I had to. Like to get to an area. I don't think I've ever purchased like the HP up, PP up. I just heavily relied on like healing items. But this playthrough is different. Because you've never been good. Wait, that's kind of true, though. I did only play the baby Pokemon games. I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly sleep. Pride Parade? Pride Parade and- wait, I can't speak. <laughs> Pride Parade is next weekend in my city, so I've always wanted to go to a Pride event. I want to go at some point. Maybe next year. Gonna get turned? Hell yeah, brother. Or Kronk? I've never heard the saying Kronk.
talking about pride. I I identify as like uh, cisgender and then bisexual. I know like this should not still be stigmatized, but like being bi, I still don't feel like I'm part of it. You know, I've never had a GF. I've smashed everybody's moms, but like not in real life. But then I keep telling myself, it's kind of similar to like the folks who are straight, even though they've never like touched a woman. Just because you haven't experienced it doesn't like change if you are or not. And then I feel better. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that out loud, Ethan. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Your clippers are gonna go crazy. I still have that one clip where I said I would do a lot of things for $20. And that clip blew up. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not giving you guys what you want. But let's be honest, $20 can buy like a meal at McDonald's nowadays. 20 days ain't much. Ooh, I want to try KFC so bad. It's literally been like five years since I've had KFC. I really want to try it again. Because like, in my hometown, all the fast food was shit. And I think it's because the restaurants weren't fast enough, so they were probably just giving me like, old food. But literally all the fast food I've had in the city I currently live in, which is a bigger city, it's so good. Like, everything tastes fresh. You gotta learn clip farming from FaZe. I think I'm good, my guy. You know what we need? We need fan editors. Wait, what's the command? Guys, if you want to be a little editor for fun, you consider editing my streams. Smile. It is unpaid, but only if you do it for hobby. We need a piece in industrial clips complex. Imagine a millionaire not paying their editors. True. No, my main editor is myself. And you know what I get paid? Jack shit. I didn't even get paid for the month of May. Literally, May, I made no money, technically. Oh wait, sorry, June. It would have been May, but it processes by June. I literally paid myself zero dollars from Twitch. I'm scamming myself? You know, I'll say it, I think Twitch is this generation's new pyramid scheme. For like, YouTube. You know, we keep pumping out stuff for free, people watch it, we don't get paid what we deserve. That's why, like, when, when Kick announced that they were offering, like, hourly wages for certain creators, that to me was huge. I don't know if, like, that is still, like, a thing, but that is genuinely, like, huge. Like, even if I got $10 an hour for how much I stream, that'd be sick. Not on Kick, of course. Hell. Kick? More like Lick. Wait. <laughs> Okay, Linus has an item. Kick is in big trouble in the news currently? Yeah, did you see all the jobber videos? Oh my god, I'm getting so many songs that I don't like. My YouTube recommended is cooked. Gonna go heal. Ralph is struggling. The one thing I don't like about Twitch and Twitch staff, if you're watching, open up your ears. 
I do not like how when people get banned, they don't know exactly why. I think if you get banned on Twitch, as with like crimes, it should be publicly accessible information. Everybody should know why somebody was banned. And I mean that in the sense of like, that way people are protected from said people if need be. I understand that it could be like a legal liability, but we should know. Like, nobody should be able to go to a different platform if they got banned for doing bad things on another. There should be full transparency. And I don't mean- I'm not saying this just because, like, all the dog shit recently. DOC. Um. But, I mean, for, like, everybody. Like, people should not have to speculate why they were terminated. That's the one good thing about, like, YouTube moderation is that they will- Okay, this hasn't happened to me. <laughs> but they will, like, specifically tell you why you got, like, demonetized or whatever, and then they'll link the actual article that outlines the rules and shit. But Twitch doesn't do that, I don't think. One cup. Like, I think it would be a bigger dub if social media companies were very vocal about why they, like, ban people. Especially if some people do, like, crimes or whatever. I think that is better PR than, like, ignoring it. Gavin, go to level 43, let's go! Linus has an item. Would have to be a case by case basis for a person though. People would be in beef if they say that the other person is a criminal. Yeah. I understand why if the allegations concerning DOC are true, I can understand why it's not necessarily public, because obviously you want to protect victims. But I okay, th this is the one thing I'll say about it. Monka. Well, a lot of people are chirping online about like where's the evidence, where's the proof? But, do people not realize? It takes a lot of, like, guts to say shit like that. Because, like, defamation laws in America are very prevalent. Like, there would be very little reason for somebody to lie. Especially going against someone so big. It's not very rare that people fucking lie. And also, um... When it comes to, like, younger people, or even if you are, like, um, civilly charging somebody as an adult, you can choose to keep certain details not publicly accessible. Like, witness protection programs, that type of jazz. So, it could actually be a matter of, like, they legally can't share anything. But, I don't know, we just gotta wait and see.
You know what some guys in chat will see, though? An ad. Because we are three hours in the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. And also, um, subscribe if you like what you see. Get added reviewing and cool emotes. Also, if you link Amazon Prime to your Twitch, you can subscribe for free with Prime. Isn't that crazy? Guys, use your Prime sub right now when you got it. I just want you, I just want you. Here, yeah, we're back in it. Checking the party. I think that's all I'll say about the DOC situation. And also, okay, there's one more thing I'll say. <laughs> like, I've seen a couple people be like, oh, what if it was, like, somebody who was legal age, like, 16 or 17? It's like, yeah, legally it's okay. Whatever. If you want to die on that hill, you just look sus as fuck. I, I, I still believe that nobody should use their platform for, like, any type of smashing or hooking up. Or coercion. Like, it, it's, it's so gross. I know that some people are like, well, groupie culture is, like, so normal. It's like, yeah, but should it? Like, just because something is acceptable doesn't mean it's morally okay to everyone. You know, on real GBAs, if you're XPing up, you can do two times speed. You mean, like, the text? I see people who do, like, the two times speed, five times speed, and it makes my eyes bug out. Plus, I like the little animations. You know what's funny? I actually unenabled Drake in the chat room. Only Kendrick chat now. The, the the moment I started feeling sus about Drake was when Millie Bobby Brown was like talking about how they DM each other and talk about boys and stuff. That's when I was kind of like, oh, that's weird. Anyway, let's talk about something else. I don't want no smoke. on sketches for the art website for different stamps I can make and I have three different themes I have abstract scenery botanicals so like potted plants and then fruit which seems really basic and I'm working on finalizing some sketches I'm not gonna post them because I find whenever I post sketches like in the past oh he bit me I never finished anything <laughs> Because an issue I came upon is watercolor paper is textured. It looks like it has little divots in it because those little divots are like pockets in which water and color can sit. That way it dries slower. So I bought some nice ass watercolor paper. It's really absorbent, it's nice, it's good, but it's really textured because Usually cold press paper will be textured, hot press will be less textured, more smooth. But either way, watercolor paper will always have a slight texture to it. So, I was... What'd you say? I was testing out stamp printing, like printing lino prints on the watercolor paper. And since the paper is textured, it doesn't transfer well. And that was a big bummer. Because... My main plan was going to be stamping. Like, just a regular lino print, and then stamping, and then watercoloring to fill in any white space. So I can't do that now. And 
I didn't realize this until I got my paper in the mail, because I, I didn't have any watercolor paper. So I was like, shit! So, <laughs> if I do Lionel prints, it either has to be on, like, regular multimedia cardstock, or... Mega Card Good Level 56, let's go! Or, um... Instead of stamping an image onto watercolor paper, I just have to, like, trace. Which is fine, but it's still a bummer. And you can still use watercolor on mixed media paper, but it doesn't, like, hold as well. That's why there's delays now. In the sense of, like, I either have to get multimedia paper now, or, like, more. Like, a different type. Because the type I have doesn't, like, absorb as well as I want it to. Like, the water just sits on top of the paper. Which is fine, it just... It wrinkles the paper a lot. So, I think... Because what I'm planning for the lino prints is to offer... Um, just a regular lino print, so black and white. That way, if somebody likes a black and white look, or if they actually want to color it themselves, they can do that if they want. And then, lino print, but embossed. Um, embossing is where you use a special type of ink that takes longer to dry, and then you brush powder on top, and then you heat set it, so it becomes like this raised, plasticky texture. And then I would also offer embossed with watercolor. But in order to do any type of lino print with watercolor, you cannot do it on watercolor paper. Which is frustrating. I bought a whole stack of watercolor paper. But now I can't use it for lino prints. Which I should have figured, but I, I didn't like think about it. Baggy Carp isn't blue, I know, right? He's a Democrat. Trump used to be a Democrat, right? You know, I'll say it, all Democrats suck. <gasps> it, the reason why Democrats still suck is because they're still pro capitalism. They will still protect capital over people, typically. They'll chirp all they want about, like, rights and shit and protecting sons' rights, but, like, what are they doing to genuinely protect it? I thought Emboss was a woman instead. <laughs> You know, I went to art school, but I technically do have a science degree. It's Bachelor's of Science hyphen graphic design. I know how to code. Kind of. Every breakthrough and every cry. Because I think for lino prints, like the stamp, uh, the sketch card series that I'll do, I'll do three in every drop. Faded, These thoughts I thought were Because I think the most frustrating thing with working with Shopify in particular is the shipping UI. Because in order to charge shipping for individual items, you have to make a new shipping profile. Like, you can't charge shipping on every item listing. So it adds like an extra five minutes for every item to like add a new shipping price to it individually. But I promise if if something can fit in like a 4x6 envelope, shipping is free, because that's just like a stamp. But anything that comes in like a package that has a tracking number, I think shipping would have to be a premium. Oh my god, I have to say a joke, but it has a curse word in it. <laughs> How about you type it, and then I can look at Automod. And I'll read it for you. Uh, unless the curse is like a slur, then... <laughs> then... If you say a slur in my chat, you get auto banned. So, <laughs> just be careful. Never forget me. Everything I've done. Mm. 
Linus has an item. I don't see slurs. That's great. I think the only bad word that I've said is the R word. And I think it's because when I was younger, it was like obviously more commonly used. But I didn't use it often. I think I've only said it like maybe 10 times in my life and I've basically like phased it out of my vocab at this point. You know, I'm 25. I should not be saying bad words. But I've never, like, called somebody it. I've only used it as, like, instead of saying, like, oh, that's stupid. Because I, I... The big reason that, like, changed my mind and changed a lot of people's mind about saying, like, certain words towards people... Um... <laughs> Thank you for timing yourself out, Ethan. <laughs> um... Is the reason why you should avoid using certain words in like a public setting or with new people that you meet is you don't know what type of trauma people have around certain words. Like just because you're comfortable with hearing it or using it doesn't mean everybody else is. And that's a big reason why I've stopped saying it. I've never said it like in public or like on camera. Because I understand that like, oh Gavin go to level 44, let's go. I understand that like individuals have a responsibility to like be like a decent public figure or like a role model. The big thing to me is I think transparency is good. Like if you've done bad things, like own up to it. You know, I think the worst thing I've ever done is like cut somebody off in the line waiting for the train. Caught. <laughs> I told my sister and our roommate to like run to the train <laughs> to get us good seats all together because the the Amtrak trains they have like tables so like four people can sit in one seat essentially or one booth so I told those two to like run ahead and the staffers didn't care but like there was like these old ladies chirping behind us like oh what are, what are those kids doing I think that's the worst thing I've done. Even though it technically wasn't me, I, I just coerced my sister into doing that. Turns out that we were we were taking the late night train. So the conductors were walking through the train and they're like, guys, where are you going? We're like, oh, Seattle. They're like, actually, you cannot sit in this car because at the end of the day, we sort the cars by location. And we were like, no, because my sister got like a booth near the front of the train and the passengers heading to Seattle because it was the last stop. We're put in the back of the train. So them running ahead was meaningless. People shouldn't be slow on trains. No, it was it was bad. Because <laughs> My sister and my roommate, they were, like, pushing through the crowd of, like, a hundred people to get to the front. So, like, it was very bad. <laughs> but if anybody would have genuinely questioned us, I would have turned around and be like, Hey, she's autistic. Like, let her have this win, please. <laughs> she just really loves trains. <laughs> nah, my, my, my sister is not one of, like, the, the ASD people who likes trains, but... She likes trains more than other vehicles. She's not, like, obsessed, though. Okay, I gotta go heal after this. Oh, you can see my glasses fogging up. It's getting hot. I might have to change.
Skipping lines is my special interest. <laughs> Nah, when I was reading my books about stained glass in the history, I literally finished reading the first book in a day, and I kept on thinking to myself, I was like, do special interest unlocked. <laughs> like, I did say, whenever I launch my stained glass inspired artwork, I will do like a hour long presentation about the history of it. It's generally so interesting. <laughs> like, there's a lot of religion, a lot of classism, a lot of political history. Uh, I turned my fan on, it's hot in here. that my fan is right by my desk and this one always falls down when I turn it on I think it's because this particular canvas panel is warped a little bit but that's just from the heat it's fine okay. guys I don't know if we're gonna do the elite for today I'm gonna try my best the hell yeah brother Oh, that fan is so nice. Kevin's at 44. Almost the same level as many. When you lose all your Pokemon at the Elite Four, shut up! You guys should be like manifesting good things. You everybody keeps manifesting bad things. Like, come on. I'm gonna quit, and this is gonna be the reason why. And I don't mean quit Pokemon, I mean quit streaming. You're supposed to be wholesome when the channel is this small. Nah. When you're small, you either get like fucking weird ass trolls in your chat, or like the nicest people. But both of those demographics are super lonely. The trolls just want attention. You know, their parents didn't give them any. And then the super wholesome people want a friend. Which is how I used to watch Twitch too, I'll be honest. You know, I used to be going in the Discover tab, tapping in zero viewer streams. I don't do it anymore. Because now that, like, I stream and have, like, a small but, like, still decent sized following, people are gonna think I'm leeching. It's not manifesting, we just know. Okay, if I, like, beat the Elite Four, you guys owe me something. Everybody's talking mad shit, you guys owe me something. I would be so scared being the only viewer and it being my first time meeting them. Oh, <laughs> That's so cute. I was never like scared to type into Twitch chat. Because I was just looking for like interaction when I was doing that. I was lonely. That was when I had just like, I had just left my job. So like any social interaction I had through work, or friends, their work was gone. But you know, tw Twitch has helped me a lot. It has given me like a sense of community between other creatives. It has given me like an outlet. If you play today and win, I'll gift one. Hey, screenshot that for later, guys. What if I just do, like, a 24-hour stream? 
guys, 100 hour Pokemon Emerald Marathon. A big reason why I personally stopped watching smaller streamers, which this is gonna make me sound like such an asshole, is I still watched a lot of smaller streams and I started streaming myself. And that was because like I kinda wanted to network. But like it's hard to network. But I kinda stopped because I thought about it. Now, this is also dissing myself, okay? I'm dissing myself. I usually average three viewers a stream, which is honestly an L. But you know what? Three people is still three people. Because the way I see it now, there's a reason why certain people are successful. For the longest time, I thought it was just luck. Like, solely luck. But then it clicked. As with anything in life. Yes, there's an element of luck to it, but you still have to, like, do the work with said luck if you receive it. Like, there's a reason why Kai is so popular. And why Peason is not popular. And I think that didn't really click until, like, a year and a half ago. I still have the belief that, like, if I stay small forever, that's totally fine. Because as long as I'm having fun with what I'm doing and the, um, I'm still content, then that's fine. Your community is bigger than three, though. You got me, Matt, Kim, Kobo, etc. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think a lot of people in any social media vein get hung up on numbers. Like, they look at the bigger picture, but fail to look at individuals. Both people and also, like, themselves as the individual. Like, a lot of people, I do this too, will judge somebody quickly based on, like, their follower count. Or their viewer count. But even if you average two, you probably got, like, ten people popping in and out. That's still ten people that you made an impact on for that day. And when I started thinking that way is when I didn't feel bad if a stream didn't do well. I don't even look at my stream summary anymore. Your stream summary is... It tells you your, your average revenue, your average viewer count, chat interaction for like every stream you do. I used to check that every single stream I did for the first six months. And that was when I was averaging zero viewers. <laughs> But still, I would have like five individual people come in and out. And once I stopped looking at my stream summary, I just didn't give a shit. And then I saw like very, very, very small growth, and then tic tac, and then very, very small growth. Not the always seeing zero, that's so sad. I mean, it's just how it is. Everybody starts at zero. And there are some streams where I have zero viewers throughout. Like, not necessarily, like, average, but, like, I'll dip to zero. And that's fine. Because, as with anything, streaming is a skill. It is. Like, <laughs> I'm editing streams from 2022. Last week's YouTube video that I posted on Saturday is from 22. Kate Linus has an item. And it's so wild to see how, like, my commentary, my, uh, like, how I visibly look on camera, and then also, like, um, my confidence is so... Oh, I didn't mean to do confusion. Fuck. 
Mugga is so different two years ago, a year ago, even six months ago. I think the past six months have, or 2024 essentially, is so different than like November last year. Because right now, oh, Gavin got to level 45, let's go! Right now, I'm focusing a lot more on like thinking about how a stream can become an edit. So, obviously, ooh, Gavin's trying to learn Earthquake. What's this? Earthquake, a powerful quake, but has no effect on flying foes. Okay, so magnitude is essentially earthquake, but like not a guaranteed amount of damage dealt. And magnitude doesn't affect flying Pokemon either. It might be better just to do earthquake. Oh wait, Magnitude does have higher PP though. I could just get a max PP. You know what? I'll swap it for Magnitude. Because Magnitude can range from like a 2 to 10. And if Earthquake can give me a guaranteed 100 power, 100% accuracy, which is the same as Magnitude, I'll take it. I'll take it. Gavin Lurd, Earthquake! Let's go! What was I talking about? Inertia Pokemon as well? I don't think there's many double battles in this upcoming Elite Four, though. Rather, I hope not. I mean, Magnitude affected your co Pokemon, too, so it's not that bad. I don't have any flying Pokemon on my team. Well, yeah, Earthquake does affect Gardevoir. Even though they float. Such bullshit. Oh, yeah, I was talking about, like, how in the past six months, I feel like my vibe has changed. I understand there's, like, an element of, like, fakeness to, like, being more extra or, like, yapping and yapping on camera. But to me, fake is fine if it leads to more engaging or entertaining con content. Like, yeah, I do farm sometimes, or I, like, I'll, like, fake a little joke, or tell a fake story. But it, if it'll lead to, like, a better clip or a better edit, why not? So let's be honest, everybody online is a fake-ass bitch anyway. And it's also, like, really funny, like, watching back a stream now. <laughs> I'm like, man, that's a good joke. I'm gonna go heal. No! Saved. Oh wait, I don't need to heal, I don't think. Ralph should be fine. No, I should- I still should, because surface is running low. You know what else I'm running low on? Followers, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button! You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? I used to think Kimiko's name in the voice was Monka, but it was just Frenchie saying Monkor. 
You know, I think Frenchie's my favorite character so far. I love him. He seems like the most, like, human out of the crew so far. Even if he did, like, fucked up things, he still has, like, compassion. I've only just started the second season, so, like, I don't know what happens later. When I retire, I think my goal in retirement is to learn every single language. Because when you're old, you gotta keep your brain alive. And I think learning languages when you're older will help keep that spark there. Because literally, if you do more puzzles, if you do more reading and learning when you're younger, it will um, prevent early or late onset dementia. Dude, my eyes keep fogging up my glasses. What if my gaming posture was this? <laughs> I've never played a game like hunched over my computer. I think it's because I'm short, so like a lot of furniture is not built for me. Everything is too tall, so I gotta be like sitting up like this. Okay. You know, I bet we're gonna spend so much time leveling up my Graveler and Blossom, we're not gonna use them at all. I bet you five bucks that's what's gonna end up happening. But it's fine. I'd rather go in fully prepared than regret it. Dude, imagine having to do this all again. I would never.
What if I did paper cuts but pixel art? Like physically cutting out hundreds of squares? Because for me, in terms of my art adventure, I want to avoid digital as much as I can. Because there will always be like a level of charm to physical artwork. And just in general, physical artwork does have more value than digital. I think that's genuinely why NFTs became so popular. Is because with an NFT you buy the original artwork. Or you buy like the original digital artwork. Or you buy the one of the set number of the originals they produced of that digital artwork. But then in turn, NFTs, in my opinion, made the value of digital artwork become less in the public eye. Because after stained glass, I want to learn about mosaics in particular. And mosaic is kind of similar to pixel art in terms of like tile work. Like using smaller shapes to make a larger image or composition. Because I've seen people like paint pixel art paintings. But I don't think I've seen a paper cut. Because that would be very tedious. <laughs> it would also be really easy to see, like, a non-straight square shape. You probably have to die cut all your squares. Was it Mosaic, a pianist? I think you I think you're thinking of Mozart. But that is a pretty good one, Ethan. I like your dad jokes more than your slur jokes. Mozart? I thought that was a type of cheese. I'm confused. In game and in real life. Mozart cheese. That, that feels like a bait. I'm not gonna say it again. You mean mozzarella? Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out which cheese it was. <laughs> I was like, I haven't had many cheese. I had never had a charcuterie board. Dude, I want to do a charcuterie board making stream, but it's literally all the food I can't have. Cheese, sausage. I guess I can have fruit, but fruit ain't fun. Being fruity is, though. Mm 
Magic card grew to 57. One more level till he's hit his level cap. Uh oh. Almost 200 HP. Wow. God damn. Uh oh. I got scared. I think when we get all our Pokemon to level 50, we'll go to the Battle Frontier just to see what happens. No, wait, actually, I don't want to do that. I lied. Peace and lied. People cried. Because then I'd have to teleport back here. And that'd be annoying. Gavin Grid of 46? Let's go! How are we going to the battle frontier before the Elite Four? But I don't know if he can keep these. And with the battle frontier, I don't have to battle with my Pokemon. So if those throwaways die, it's fine. You know, one day I'll play copyright music on stream, just not anytime soon. When I become partner, we can, like, fuck around a little bit. I ain't gonna risk getting banned now. You know, I usually don't like Travis Scott, but I like the Goosebumps song a lot. <laughs> it just has good ear feel. And it's got Kendrick. I'm going to heal. I'm scared. Think of me at all.
I could have just taken him out. Like, come on. So annoying. I'm just now realizing how long it's taken to level up my Graveler. I'll do as much as I can today. Either way, I have to end by 4 so I can eat dinner. I'm gonna go heal Ralph. Waiting if I should level with Ralph. Because the psychic is ineffective against the Zubats and the Golbats. And the psychic doesn't really affect the Larens either. Yeah, I think I just gotta keep leveling with Magikarp. Maybe Manectric can work too.
I wonder how steel does against electricity. I'll keep Magikarp as leader for now. Just because I don't want to risk anyone. Status quo. Did I know that Homelander is supposed to symbolize Trump? Nope. Kinda makes sense though. You know, I thought my Gyarados represented Trump. <laughs> I think call him Magikarp. You know, honestly, Magikarp is my best Pokemon on the team. Blaziken is sick and all, but Magikarp is my goat. Silly Hariyama, thought you could use Fake Out twice.
I think when Magikarp gets to level 58, we'll switch to Ralph as the party leader, and anytime we see a Golbat or a Zubat, we'll just swap out. Or just run away. Because Ralph Psychic should be able to take most anybody out. Gavin Grid to level 47, let's go! You, all, you know who else needs to go? The non-followers... Wait, the non-subs need to go subscribe. Because guys, we are four hours in. Graveler is getting there. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Or you can subscribe for free with the Twitch Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Get boomed. I think it's so silly, the streamers who ban emote spam from their chat rooms. I genuinely think it's like the worst rule to have in your chat. You know, some people just like talking about pictures. I personally love spam, why not? I sometimes feel bad for like not turkin- turkin? <laughs> for not talking during the Pokemon streams. But it's mainly because in my head I'm like, I'm gonna edit this out. I don't need to talk. Dead air is fine. But like all the YouTube frogs, whenever I finally edit the Peace Log streams, Linus has an item. They're not gonna see any of this whole stream basically. They're not gonna see it. <laughs> Peace in hands after pressing the same two buttons for 20 or 122 hours, dude. I know. I already got like a mark here. But it's fine. Yeah, you know, I'm working out my my guns. You know, all the streamers who stream like eight hours a day, they should get like workers' comp if they like get, um, almost a tinnitus. What's it called? Carpal tunnel. Come on, give me a rare candy. Fuck you. I mean, I love you, Linus. Shame's finally done and wait. An option love 
You know, honestly, Ralph could probably take up the Zubats. We'll find out when we gotta swap them in. Oh yeah, Psychic does not work against Laron. Cause like, I don't want to hit level cap too much. Like, I don't want to be pulling up to the Elite Four with like... A level 65 Gyarados. Because the level cap is, um, 58. I might grab a Whale Lord or something. Why not? I lay down in the way Cause it's the fear of the unknown That prepares every step we take! <laughs> Monka. Man, listening to the single version of the Craving versus the album version, it's so different. I never liked the single version, even when I heard it, like, before the actual album came out. Jenna's version is so much better. You should start with the little Pokemon at the front of your party, then switch to Gyarados so that three Pokemon gain XP. No, but the shitty thing about doing that is that it splits the XP. Like, they all gotta share. So, yeah, I could do that, but I would still have to do, like, more battles because of it, because they're splitting. Uh, the level cap is 50 because the champion's highest level Pokemon is 58. The first Elite Four member's Pokemon is 46. So, ideally, me leveling to, like, 50, 55 is already kind of high, but... I cannot pass 58. I mean, I can, but, like, I really shouldn't. <laughs> Oops, misclick. What? Uh, my... My down arrow button wasn't working on my stupid GBA. Because when we do the Elite Four... I'm indifferent if I want to go back to Nurse Joy and heal. I think it's better if I just use items. Because using items is already kind of cheaty. It's already kind of hacky. I don't want to go back to Nurse Joy. I want to do it in one run, ideally. Unless I'm, like, really gonna die. <laughs> Alright, let's look. Yeah, from the Nuzlocke perspective, yeah, don't pass 58. Basically, yeah. Like, it's fine if I pass a level cap, because that's not, like, one of the official rules in my run. But still, like, I should not overlevel. You can or can't leave if I wanted to. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, can I not go back to Nurse Joy between fights? Wait, what? I thought you could. What the hell? The game won't let you? Uh-oh. I mean, I didn't see that as an option for my playthrough anyway. <gasps> Belly drum. Uh-oh. The main reason why I want to be this stupid little peace lock soon is because I want to play Poker Rogue. I want to play Poker Rogue so bad. I know, like, the trend is over for it already, but I want to play it. And I can't play Poker Rogue 
Because then I'm gonna learn types and shit. That would be cheating. I, mean, I would never cheat. I would never cheat on a person that's like actually impossible for me. Same. Totally same. I understand why some people do it, but to me, those individuals lack emotional maturity or intelligence. I also hate hearing like red pill people be like, well, it's part of my nature to like literally fuck every woman I see. Because it's for offspring. But like, intercourse is like an emotional thing as well. It's not just for like reproduction or like um gratification it's like for emotional connection as well who says that i've seen so many clips i, I guess you're not on red pill tic tac <laughs> but my opinion is if you have like a desire to like want to be um commit adultery you need to communicate that before you do the act. Because when you cheat on somebody, you're, you're gonna traumatize them. Like, you're gonna get into trust issues. Like, do you really want to do that to somebody? Like, it, it's totally normal to, like, fall out of love, but, like, don't ruin that person. Like, don't be a little bitch, just break up and then fuck around. Plus, we hate STIs. Yeah, I do scroll past all the red pill videos. I only watch them when, like, Hassan watches them. I'm deleting that one, Ethan. <laughs> I'm deleting that one. stream where I don't talk at all. I'm like thinking about what I can do. I don't know what I would do for that stream. <laughs> the the concept for that is that I don't talk at all, but every single chat message is TTS enabled. Like normal chat too. And then I have to not talk, like physically not talk. Be in a dog tank. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to talk. <laughs> oh my. If you laugh, you get dunked. That would be a really funny YouTube video. You laugh, you lose. Yeah, I don't think a dunk tank will fit in my room, though. It could, but it's not a good idea. of the pain
Monka. Uh oh. Far from love, but I'm stuck. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I've also become a, a fan of Gibeon songs. They're so pretty, but like a lot of the lyrics are really toxic. <laughs> Maybe I'm the cause of the pain Waiting for you even how you treat me Dude, I have a- I have a zit growing on my lip? Annoying as shit Top three worst places to get a zit? Number three, on your lip Number two, in your nose Number one, in your ear How the fuck do they get in your ear? Yeah, we're gonna level 48. Hell yeah, brother. And pinnacle, worst spot? Where your glasses rest. Follow for more um, top five worst places for bodily functions. <laughs> New video every Saturday. <laughs> it takes some time that I realize. You do me wrong, but it feels... Feels like I'm stuck on you. Monka belly drum. I can crop my level up here. Magic Carp grew to level 58, officially the level cap for the Elite Four and Champion. Final HP 202, attack 146, defense 135, special attack 87, special defense 136, speed 124. Okay, as I said earlier, I, I don't want to keep leveling up Magic Carp, so we're going to make Ralph the party leader for now. And if we get a Crobat or Zubat, we'll leave Ralph in to see if they can take a hit. But either way, I'm gonna go heal first. That way... Well, we can test this now. <laughs> I do know that Golbat and Zuba have a Dark-type move. And they're not necessarily strong or weak against... Psychic. So let's try it. Oh! Wait! God, they're poison type! I forgot! <laughs> I should have been leveling with Ralph. Dude, I'm clueless. I think I just got scared because one time they had a dark type move. Okay, so we're fine. We'll level with Ralph then. That means Ralph is strong against every Pokemon in this area except for Laren. If we get Laren, we'll just run away. That's good to know. Dude, I was scared for nothing. Literally.
I'm clueless. I wonder what item I can give Rob. Also, I got a mute. Sorry, I accidentally changed the window size of my GBA. That's why the crop was off for a second. I think I fixed it? Oopsie. Oh, that's gonna bother me now. Okay, I think that's lined up. It's a little bit off than what it was before, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I fixed it. Okay. Back to it. Item for Ralph. I think Rob should be able to one-hit KO most enemy they face, so I don't need any hold on. They can just hold the bear for now, it's fine. Okay, now we good. Everything is back on track, hell yeah. <laughs> Silly Billy? Pika only works in the first turn. Man, I really should have been using Ralph. Kalulus. I just get on my own head. Is 
So I should save my confusion for uh, Makuhitas and Golbats. Or my second, not confusion. I got confused. Ralph grew to level 52. Oh, I didn't swap out Magikarp's item. He should be fine. Also, Linus has an item. Nice try, Bozo. Incendio? We'll use Magikarp for Aaron's and Laren's until they get close to reaching 59. Just so we don't miss an encounter. Because Aaron's and Laren's are worth okay XP. We'll give Magikarp a Citrus Berry just to be safe. else can be safe the non-followers if they follow the channel of course it's a laren <laughs> if you follow the channel you get curly mods and you get a type of chat isn't that pretty cool and if you're already following make sure notifications are turned because uh, turn on because less than 50 percent of you guys haven't turned on uh-oh okay, that was a little bit stronger but not much Really? It sees the water and it gets scared.
Right now, a Jordan Sparks song is playing, Battlefield. I know all the words, but I can't sing it. I get copyright claimed every single time, because I'm just that good at her voice. I kind of want to go to the mall right now and buy more max pp ups. Just so we can avoid a little bit of song and dance and going back and forth to the Pokemon Center. Okay, Linus has an item. Classic. Okay, I haven't got to level 49. Let's go. I think I'll get my Pokemon to level 50. And then we'll go from there and see what happens. Because my party, only Pokemon above level 50 right now is Magikarp and Ralph. Let's see if regular confusion works. Yeah, okay, so I only need to use the psychic on Mariana's or Hariyama. I don't think we've seen a Ladrid yet. I'm soundproof. Okay, if I run into a Ladrid, I have to use Psychic. One more psychic and then we gotta go heal. Yeah. So Loudred and Hariyama need psychic.
gonna go to the mall and get another max VP up. So we'll need to have Pelipper again so we can fly to the mall. And then Ralph so we can teleport back to this Pokemon Center. That way we don't have to go through um, Victory Road. Lily Cove City we go. I'm gonna do some shopping. Women be shopping, am I right? I don't remember what was on what floor. Okay, these are heels. Heels and repels. Oh my god, I have $399,000. Wow. Speed. Protein, calcium, iron, zinc, carbos, HP up. Oh, can I not buy a max HP? Or max PP? Really? If that's the case, then that's an L. I guess I can't. I think the last four is decorations. Yep. Okay, I can only buy a single PP up. Um, that's kind of a bummer. Good thing I used it on Gyarados. Teleportation works. Okay, so since I don't have another max PP up, let's use my singles. I only got five. I might need some, need it for blaze cake. Okay. Um. So when we're leveling, I don't have another max VP, so we're just gonna have to constantly come back and forth to heal up Ralph. That's fine though. Now I know. But for sure, 
Now I know that teleport and fly will work with this system. I just I just cannot heal in another Pokemon Center. Back to it. Mako, you just always do fake out twice in order. They're so silly. Linus has an item.
Earlier I said I want to get my Pokemon to at least level 55 for all of them. And I think I still stick with that. It just depends on like... Because, okay, looking at how far we got today... We got Graveler up like... I think 12 levels, and that took 5 hours. So, to level up Blossom, it's probably going to take the same amount of time. Man, I really wanted to beat this by 125 hours. 100 hours for the run. It's not happened, though. I'll fake out. You know, this is what I get for, like, having integrity and not using the very well-known rare candy cheat. You know, I don't want to hate the red. So it's probably, honestly, going to be another at least two days of peace luck. I really wanted to see... I really wanted to do it today, but... Nah, it's going to be at least two more days. Take me back, cause I wanna stay Save your tears for another I realize that it's much too late That you deserve someone better Okay, that was fun. Tears for another day Controversial, I did not like the Save Your Tears remix with Ariana. It, I don't know. I like Ariana Grande, but like, it just didn't match the vibe. Linus has an item. What are we gonna do when Ralph hits level cap, though? Like, seriously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. Okay, steel is not effective against water. Cool. Wait, I gotta mute real quick. I didn't unmute the high. I told my sister that I'm not making dinner tonight. <laughs> nah, we, I made meal prep yesterday. I made a uh, shrimp alfredo, but instead of using cream, I used coconut milk. And I've been doing this for like a few months now, like replacing heavy cream with um, coconut milk. And it just doesn't hit. It's because, like, full fat heavy cream has proteins in it. That like make the sauce bind together. So like anytime I use the coconut milk, it's like really thin sauce. Oh, why do you use psychic? Like it still tastes really good. Cause I I browned the veggies. I did squash and onion in the shrimp juice. I bought pre-cooked shrimp. That way, like it's really shrimpy. But the sauce is always super thin, so like whenever I pack it for meal prep, the sauce just gets absorbed in the noodles. Which is fine, because the noodles taste really good. 
But, like, I love the texture of sauce. Ralph grew to level 53. Let's go. Five more to level cap. El Laren. Oh yeah, Linus has an item. Mail be day. I'm gonna put my hair up. I'm using them with the little bow today. Gavin grew to level 50, let's go! Okay, now that Gavin's at 50, I want to try and get everybody else back up to 52. And then when Manny and Blaziken are up to 50, then we'll go and grab Blossom. So we'll give XP share to Manny! Back to it. I'm learning this song. I cannot be by Post Malone. I'm learning it. You're the reason why I get so high. How can I see? God damn it. <laughs> it's so hard! How can I be what you want? So bad, I'll make it ends. How can I see when I'm so nervous? And can I just sleep when I'm so fucking tired? So tell me right now what you want me, what you want me, what you want me to be. I'm learning. You think that'll work on me? Pitiful Laren. Watch this. <laughs> Drown.
know who else is going to be drowning? In ads, the non soaps because guys, we are fi five hours in. <laughs> I might wrap up soon, honestly. <laughs> but if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. It's $4.99, just $5. Enjoy that $5 while you can. There's only like five days left of that $5 price. Um, or you can subscribe for free with an Amazon Prime sub. Ain't that crazy? So guys, click subscribe right now. Also, I'm going to use the restroom, so I'll be honest, you won't miss anything. It's been five hours. i got to take my union break. Dark. Okay, you know the drill? Emote only chat? Put your favorite emote in chat. I'll be right back. I'm back. You guys are free. I think I might stream for like another hour. I can only take so much brain rot. And I'm sure you guys can only take so much as well. Three more psychics left.
I bet Magic Card can learn an ice move. Because there was an ice TM at the store. That one did more damage than usual. At least the flinch doesn't use PP, I just realized. That is very good. Psychic left. Manny grew to level forty six. Let's go. Hanging out by the door in case I get another Hariyama. Those were look so scared. Little do they know what they just walked into. Only four confusions left.
I'll learn. Ooh, he's sturdy. Linus has an item. Okay, final five before we gotta go heal. I think after this fight, we'll pause for today. My hand's cramping. I can feel it, like, in my... my forearm. We, we gotta stop. <laughs> the Union's not gonna like a carpool injury. Or carpool tunnel. Okay, we're gonna go heal, and then we'll save for today. God damn it. I thought I could keep going!
Okay, I'm gonna spawn in the cave. Or save in the cave. No way, I know where I left off. Oh my god, I didn't save it all today. 98 hours. Goddamn. Okay, game has been saved. Pausing here for today. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, wait, I couldn't... Wait, should we do one, two, three, four, five? <laughs> Dang it, that would have been so funny. Okay. I'm pausing here for today because I don't want carpal tunnel. I can feel my arm. But to review. Wait, to review. To review. We have Magic Carp at level cap at level 58. Ralph at 53. Blaziken, 49... Manny 46, Gavin 50, Linus has been picking up items along the way. They've gotten a good handful of hyper potions. So, we're probably gonna need one more day of leveling. I wanna get everybody to at, like, at least 55, I decided. Maybe a bit higher. I only have 10 rare candies, that's why. Yeah, everybody has to be 55, no matter what. So, focusing on leveling up Blaziken, Manny. And then leveling up Blossom, and then every, everybody to 55. It's probably gonna be like another five hours of leveling, but we'll see where it takes us. Surely, we'll beat the Peace Log on this attempt. I I cannot afford to lose in the loop for. I genuinely can't. But thank you for watching. If you wanna watch me play live, you can watch on Twitch, twitch.tv slash peace and underscore 17. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, click subscribe if you watch to the end of this shit. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. Oh my god. I'm gonna save one more time. I'm, I get so scared. Okay, game is saved. Holy moly. Okay. Wait, I gotta write my live split. And one, it's probably gonna take 130 hours. So that means 105 hours for this attempt. Okay. Let's get situated. We did get two gifted subs. So that means we get to do calligraphy. Let's get some music on. Gambling. Also, just a reminder. Today's stream. Today's stream is brought to you by peaceandart.myshopify.com. Guys, click the link in chat, peaceandart.myshopify.com. Go bookmark the page. New pieces coming soon. Also, bi-weekly blog posts. If you click on the blog tab, you'll get to learn a bit more about my art, process, uh, art progress and then all past streams archived. Isn't that pretty cool? So guys, bookmark peaceandart.myshopify.com right now. Okay. Now we gotta get the camera set up. I don't know when I'll do Peace Lock again, because I have the rest of this week scheduled out, so... We'll see. I still cannot believe you guys got that Laren for free earlier. You guys took advantage of my clueless state. Ooh. I'm clueless! While I get in the camera set up, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, weekly stream highlights and clips on the clips channel. Make sure you subscribe to both. Ew, you can see the mic. Ew.
Thank you for redeeming a lecture. Okay, I almost put I don't know what that stroke was. It was Alex. We'll do a we'll do a different A shape today. There we go, I fixed it. Once again, thank you, Alex, for the two gifted subs earlier. I appreciate it. You made me release the Pokemon when I didn't have to, because I was DOM. But either way, I appreciate it. Thank you for the two gifted. I appreciate it. Thank you. God, that was so stupid. Now we do the broke piece. If you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is use your chill points, and it's free! I think one of the most crazy things about blogging on Shopify is that when you make a blog post, there's like a separate UI section. But there is like literally an AI generate text tool. So that means the people who are blogging on Shopify are probably using utilizing the AI to write their shit. Which is wild to me. Like blogs are meant to be personal mode, they're meant to be heartfelt. Like why? It's so gross. It feels even more gross. I didn't even try it. I wasn't even curious. This red pen is dead. I gotta get another. Okay, let's wrap here for today, guys. Is anybody live? Rainy hasn't streamed for a few days. Nobody live said. Get that under the screen. Hello! Why am I saying hello? I should say goodbye. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Any chatter slurkers? I hope you guys enjoyed today. I know I didn't chat much, but we're in endgame. I need to lock in. Um, plan is simple. Tomorrow, it'll be a short Mario Kart stream in the morning because I got shit to do in the afternoon. Oh. Thursday, I'm off. And then Friday, we'll do the just chatting stream that I owe you guys. If you know what it is, you know. And then I should be able to stream this weekend. 
And if I do stream this weekend, it'll either be Papa's Games continuing that run or um, Peace Look. I should finish the Papa's run, honestly. Okay. Once again, thank you to Alex for the gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. If you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video. New YouTube video. Stream elements. There you are. I can't see these words on the stream. Banger video, I promise. It's it's an edit from two years ago, but it's a really good, fun stream. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'll probably stream at like 10 or 11. I might want to sleep in tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. I'm hungry. No dilly dallying. Final, final, final song. Last words. <laughs> Dude, I can't talk. I can't do it. Como se dice? Estúpido. Okay. Bye, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day.